Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial. In this series, uh, we are going to create a complete uh, um, dashboard from starting from scratch from the Excel sheets. And we have taken a couple of Excel sheets which we are going to take, and using that, we are going to create our final dashboard. So we have this uh, detail sheet which we have data at order number level. We have this order ID, then we have order number, date, item. Uh, we have item number, category, subcategory sub sub category brand discount gross sales margin and all those we have quite a few columns out here including uh, sales date delivery date and all those things are available in region and everything and then this is a single table and uh, where everything is there and then we have another table which is target table where basically there's no date available and we'll try to combine these two data and try to create a, um, a visualization on that and then later on went ahead we'll go ahead and publish this and create a dashboard around here so now the first step which we need to do is we need to get this data in Power BI. So to get this data, I directly click on the get data and then we are going to say we are going to take Excel and we are going to find out this. This is here in the Power BI file and then this retail pivot one which is what we wanted the smaller file which I have. So we say open and then this will have only one file which we are going to take right now. So let it load and then we have sheet one i want to do some transformation on this but we will cover it in next video which is simply load into this video and we are going to take another file so it's going to load it's going to take some time it's a big file so we are taking a bigger file where we have around uh, 300k row so this is a bigger file so we'll just see also how everything perform on that so while this is loading so we will what we'll do is a special thing in this video is that this target is not there on the date level we we have a target at the month level so we are going to create a date in that and then going to join both of them with the common date dimension and going to uh, use that so now let's load the targets also and target we have monthly quarterly target but we are only going to use the uh, target which is monthly so we have only monthly target in this sheet we, we are going to load that so is also will get load and once that's got loaded we'll actually going to save the file this is pretty important that you keep on saving your work so we have this two sheets available let's rename this as sales so we have sales and we have target now go ahead and save these two so again we are going to save here in power bi and we'll call it um, tutorial one we are going to save it and the best practice the first of all we do anything we should go ahead and rename it so in various places we can do it this is one of the place where you got a lot of options uh, you can give description and everything and snow names and everything and you can rename it uh, you can actually double click like this is gross margin uh, this is gross sales this is gross underscore margin underscore amount so i can go ahead and remove underscore and I, this way i can do it and similarly there's item id so it need to be in title case or I can go ahead and call it like item ID so some cleanup we should be doing as soon as we got some file we should go ahead should go ahead and do some cleanup on this so same way we'll clean up uh, this file and then let's say on order date we go ahead and do this cleanup so we have order date we have order status we have order to delivery days and but we are not going to use some of these things we are going to calculate it here so we requested date again we are going to use a payment method we are going to use so let's rename it so now seems better uh, couple of things are order to delivery date and these things we are going to calculate in power bi but order type is the one which we are going to use what we are getting from the source so let's rename this so and then subcategory and everything we are going to rename here only subcategory so we have sub subcategory also here we are going to rename this one also unit cost and price is the one which we are going to use to calculate back everything in power bi and we may delete some of the columns which we are not required and then let's see target table do you want to rename something no yes we want to rename order month we will call it order month only so we're done with the renaming of our columns and i think this is the basic first step loading data and cleaning it up uh, thanks for watching this video thank you